Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. In Belvark there is a lot of different resources that you will have to acquire to progress your settlement that can be found all around the map and to be able to get access to everything you will have to set up outposts at different locations depending on what resource that you need if you don't want to do all the work by yourself. In Belvark there is a thing called deliveries as well and it's a quite nice system that can be used to send resources and items between settlements and outposts. And basically providing items like food and tools from our main base to a outpost and then that outpost will uh, provide us with the, the resource that they have like different kinds of hides from this uh, hunter camp for example. And these outposts can also be a great way of storing up food uh, that can be used to feed your armies for example if you have to travel a far distance uh, as they have to be fed or they're just going to ignore you and run back to their home base that they are assigned to. Let's just take a quick look on what I have in my playthrough here. I have my main base here just underneath Herondane as I'm guessing most of us are starting out at. We have a outpost to the right here and that's mainly for copper. There are quite a bit of copper nodes here around this area so it's a perfect spot for it. We also have down here next to Padstow put a little outpost right here and that's mainly for uh, the Tinors here. You have another one over here. You also have some garlic and you also have river reed. We have, we have another one right here uh, next to Bradford and here I'm using it for a hunter camp. It's uh, to provide us with hide. We do have three spawn locations for deer. We have one over here one over here and also here, so a great spot for that. Another one right here next to uh, the swamp area and this is for peat that you will need to have for your uh, next tiers of uh, smelters. And then we have at the southern part of the map I have uh, one over here and also one at Cresmere and these are going to be for iron and also have some granite at this outpost as well. And basically what you want for any outpost is going to be a house for that NPC uh, then also a stockpile to store your items and resources that and that's really all that you need to get started. And then depending on how self-sustained you want that uh, outpost to be, you can add even more buildings to help out with that. If you want to start mining ores, you will have to have a mining hut for example. Or if you want to go for logs or wood, a logging camp is needed for that. And that's pretty self-explained, I guess. But what I like to do is to put up a forging camp as well for my outpost and that's mostly going to be for mushrooms uh, but also for other things as well that can be picked up from the ground and then also a smoking rack to smoke those mushrooms and also a simple workbench. And if you have a workbench the NPC uh, of that outpost can repair your tools at it uh, as long as you have the required materials and a work order in that bench. But you could also just make a delivery system for the tool same as for the rest of the resources which I'll go over more later in this video. So let's start from the beginning and we are going to set up a new outpost for us. And I've chosen this location right here next to Bradford. We have two copper ore nodes over here and we're going to uh, put it right in between of those two. So what you want to start with is going to be a housing tent and uh, that's for your settlement to live in. And then what you also want to do is to make a stockpile as well so you can store items at your outpost and that's basically all you need to get started and for this outpost we are going to mine copper so we'll also need a mining camp here as well. And then you can see if you check it on the house here you can see that it's uh, currently in uh, my big city life settlement and what you want to do here is if you press N or you could also go up here on settlement and on this menu we can change between settlements and you will see in the left corner here which one that you are looking at 
So for this case, we want to go to the next one here, which is a big city life. And here you can see those buildings that we just placed down here. So what you want to go for next is to the right here on the bell icon, you want to create a new outpost. So let's name this uh, copper three. And like that we have made a new outpost and you can assign those other buildings to that outpost as well. Let's check copper three and here we go. Before we go over to adding NPCs to this outpost, uh, let's start by completing these buildings and then I want to add some rules to the stocker pile so it doesn't get full. What I've done with my outpost is I make a limit on usually half of the storage space uh, for the main thing uh, that the outpost is for uh, and that's worked very well for me. So for this case we are now going to make half this uh, space uh, for copper ore at least. And once that's done, you want to add your NPC to that outpost. And here you want to go to the settlement page once again, or you can press N. And then you want to take a worker from your main settlement. And uh, let's see, so for my it's new town. And then you want to go to population here. And uh, I think I have a dude down here. Yes, I'm going with Simon Gilpin. Press on that uh, NPC and then over here you can see where he's uh, assigned to right now. Press switch and then just make him assign to the new outpost. And now he's going to uh, make his way over here to this new outpost. And once your NPC have arrived to your outpost, don't forget to put some work orders in your camp for example here. So let's go for copper ore. And let's go for a couple hundred here and also top up so we will stay here basically for a eternity and uh, as we put the limit on the stockpile here it will fill up up to 200 on here uh, and the rest of the ore will just stand in the local storage here. And on the settlement page you can also see all the storage that you have for your different settlements. And then we also have deliveries. And here is where you transfer items between your different settlements and outposts. And the name to the left up here uh, in this corner is the settlement that will receive those items that you're putting up here. So let's make a new order for our new uh, base for example. Uh, the main thing we want from that is going to be copper ore. In the next bar here is from which outpost we want uh, the item received from. So in this case it's the new one, copper 3. On the next one here you can determine how often you want it to be sent. You have one time, you have daily and also weekly. Usually for resources you want to put them on daily I feel. Uh, let's put like 4 of those. And these will now be sent at midnight each day uh, as much as we have basically. And if we change up here to the copper uh, settlements, we can do some extra ones as well. So now we have the copper outpost here and uh, I usually want to send some uh, food. So let's say uh, turnips for example and food I usually put on weekly and let's take like eight and we want to send them from our main town, in this case is Newtown. And we also want to build tools, and in this case it's going to be uh, the simple pickaxe. And uh, this is really important, as you will see, tools and equipment do have two of each. And what it's indicate is uh, the first one here is going to be new and fresh ones, and the second one is going to be broken ones. So for this case we want to send them uh, fresh new ones uh, to this outpost, so it's the first one. And this as well I usually take weekly, two is usually enough and want to send them from Newtown. So here we have a really simple delivery system for our outpost and we just go on and on and on for all eternity. As mentioned we also have uh, the broken pickaxes so let's go back to Newtown and we type in simple pickaxe once again. And then we want to take uh, the second one this time 
and then we pick copper three and this one we can do daily and this will just make it so it will transfer all the broken pixels from this uh, outpost to our main city so we can repair them there uh, as i mentioned earlier you can also set up so we send uh, um, resources to the outpost if you want to repair it at uh, that outpost instead it's all up to you how you prefer to do it but this works pretty good i hope you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to drop a comment if there is anything else and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can and with that said i'll see you in the next one bye